And we're back to the Doki Doki Electric Club or the DLC if you prefer it like that. And um, well, it's we're still on, on day two of the club. No, I don't know how many days was it, but yeah, like showing my second poem and stuff. I've already shown it. <clears throat> so Monica is saying I have something extra planned today, so if I to come sit at the front of the room. So I decided to save and leave it for this video. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute presentation preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give during our can give out during the event. Yeah. Okay, that's great, no. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We are going to be performing. Performing? P -p 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 performing? Oh my god! Oh, Monica! Yeah, we're going to have a, to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. So you're putting, putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, <laughs> didn't already start putting those posters up, did ya? Eh, uh, well, eh, uh, uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Oh, well, no... It's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know. There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. Uh, I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Fear of public speaking, I guess. I had this... This too. Guys, no, Sayori, I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask them to recite their poems out loud to a whole a room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. Mm. But. I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! So, it's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. <laughs> Finding new horizons and having fun. That's right. Positive though. Blah, blah, blah. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Mm. Right, so much blushing. Not again, Yuri remains silent. Sayori so looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Yeah. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright. Phew. 
Phew, thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Done, done, done. Yuri is attracted to glasses around and everyone else with expectant faces. <sighs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. Haha, <laughs> that's everyone. You are the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh jeez. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. You're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, 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 no way. Monica, this, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do? How do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. She's gonna read the creepy one. She's probably gonna read the creepy one. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. Hmm. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <clears throat> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. I want to know the words though. Okay. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. So Yuri looks amazed. Yuri has an intense impression on her face that I don't understand. Finally... What about Natsuki? Natsuki like... <laughs> fin finally Monica finishes the recitation. Four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm. 